The next example we're going to look at is that of a pendulum. And pendulums will undergo simple harmonic motion. We call it a simple pendulum, which we'll see uh, later on why we call it that. But most pendulums that we see uh, in everyday lives are that from clocks. Grandfather clocks, cuckoo clocks, or in this picture, uh, this is the pendulum that keeps the time for the clock tower Big Ben in London. So we'll see it oscillate back and forth. It's going to under, undergo simple harmonic oscillation. And the length of the pendulum, how far up this uh, the thing, the pivot point is, is going to uh, determine how long it takes to oscillate. So let's see what it's like. So it just oscillates back and forth. And every click on it has to be some multiple or some fraction of a second. So most grandfather clocks are done in a two-second oscillation. Here's another example that you'll see, and this is a little bit more complicated, but this is the clock tower in the courthouse in Dallas. And the pendulum will actually be this little guy over here oscillating. All the rest of this is just to make the clock tell the right time. And actually, this part over here will actually sound the bell when it rings. So we'll actually see that. So the thing oscillates back and forth, back and forth, and eventually it's going to sound down the hour. So good luck with the rest of physics and with simple harmonic oscillation.